Joining us today for this week's entertainment panel is Abby St. John. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. We aren't uh, feeling the best for today, but we're here. Sorry about our voices, or my voice in particular. Yeah, yeah. we're getting through it. We're yeah. getting through it. Yeah, but you know, we have to make it for the entertainment of panel. Course. It's a must. Yeah, so, yeah. of course. And, uh, if you know us, we're Marvel fans, mm -hmm. and this is a big one that we had to bring in to this panel. We could not speak about this, yeah. and we got the first trailer and poster for Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, Volume 3. Mm -hmm. Amazing. I, I think a lot of people are super excited, especially you know after that holiday special they had. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't watched that one yet. I'm waiting until more in the holidays. I kind of wanted to be able to save it for then. But for this trailer already, looks like it's definitely going to be an emotional one, which is... Mm -hmm. Oh, such a twist when it comes to Guardians of the Galaxy, but I think we're getting into those phases, of course, where there's going to be some farewells. Yes, definitely, and we've seen throughout the other movies in the phases as well, um, in the recent phases, it's talking a lot about grief and moving on from grief and mm -hmm. um, dealing with it. And this one doesn't seem as um, grief-filled. It's more of just, you know, sticking together I know there's a line in the trailer where um, Peter is saying that all our lives we've ran from things and then rocket goes Pete I'm tired of running so it, that's more of like coming to the realization that they are a family that there are they are a group even though you know obviously the Guardians um, trilogy is coming to an end and James Gunn is stepping away from Marvel as we know he's moved on to the DC um, EU so which is sad but hopefully it gives some hope and light to DC but Guardians Volume 3 you know uh, they're back after the majority of the team was snapped you know the only two that survived the snap was Rocket and Nebula so we have the whole team back again of course, we're going to see how Gamora fits in because it's the Gamora from 2014. So that's going to be interesting to see as well. Yeah. We get a bit of Rocket's background, where mm -hmm. he came from, how he became Rocket. So that's going to be, I think, probably one of the saddest parts of the movie yeah. because we've seen kind of glimpses of it. You know, his back all... Um, messed up with the machinery that's been put into him and you know he's he's been a little bit emotional when the subject is brought up so we're gonna see how he became rocket um which i think will be the saddest point yeah. we get a glimpse of at adam warlock played by will poulter who knows he's supposed to be this perfect being um so that's going to be interesting as well um I think it's going to be a perfect wrap up to the the Guardians trilogy. Mm -hmm. It's not coming out till May 5th, which is sad. So we have a little bit of whiles away, but I'm very excited to see this movie. Yeah, I think it's going to be good and a nice wrap up when it comes to like you're saying for mm -hmm. the Guardians. Um, even though it's going to be some emotional aspects, you could see some very sad faces mm -hmm. crying in the trailer that it's like, oh man, yeah, what are we going to get? Ready. But it's going to be interesting. I think. Uh, Rocket is definitely going to be bringing some emotional stuff mm -hmm. for sure. He had that classic, you know, comedy uh, character and he's been through a lot, but, you know, he just kind of copes with it through humor. Mm -hmm. So when you kind of find out more about his backstory and what happens, I think it is going to be, it's going to be sad, but I really do hope it's going to be a nice wrap up for those, uh, for this set of movies and with Guardians. So I think it's going to be good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. May is going to come up very soon. It's yes. going to fly by way uh, faster than everyone would expect. <laughs> but you know, we got another trailer that came out this week. I feel like there were so many trailers yes. that did, like we can only talk about so many, but mm -hmm. among them, you know, I think a lot of people are excited for is Indiana Jones 5 and the Dial of Destiny. Mm -hmm. And many people are excited because Harrison Ford mm -hmm. definitely aged up, of yes. course. So he looks a lot older in this one, but it's mm -hmm. gonna be cool to see him kind of back in action, even at his, you know, big age. Yes, yeah. yeah. The last time we saw him as Indiana Jones, Jones was in 2008 in the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. You don't we don't get to see too too much on what it what it's about, but her, um, Indiana Jones is now a professor. Mm -hmm. You know, in his older age as you said, yes, Harrison Ford is a lot older than yeah. what he was in That's 2008. Life. That's life. But I still think he's going to kill the role. I think yeah, he's yeah. he's a fantastic actor. He misses the action. He misses his hat, he misses his whip, he misses <laughs> being Indiana Jones and going on adventures, it just seems like it. So he gets back into that action when villains, I guess, pop up. And uh, it seems like he's going to be fighting alongside his goddaughter, um, 
which will be interesting to see as well. Now, this is the first one out of the entire series that Steven Spielberg um, is not directing, and it is not written by George Lucas. However, they are executive producers, so they still have a touch or a hand in the making of this movie. Um, it is being directed by James Mangold, and he co-wrote it with um, Jez Butterworth and John Henry Butterworth. So, different writers, different directors, however, you'll still get Steven Spielberg and George Lucas's touch on it because they are producers. So that is something to keep in mind um, with fans that although it's not being directed and written by the same people, they still have a hand in making it. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting to see how it differs from the other movies from different from a different director and different writers as well. It's yeah. going to be interesting, but I have I have no doubt that because it is Harrison Ford that this movie is going to be a success no matter what. 100%. And I think uh, even he's probably really excited to be able to get back in those uh, in that action mm -hmm. role and just have a great time with it no matter the age. I mean, there's lots of good editing out there that can help, <laughs> help him out, but I think he's still a great actor, of course. Mm -hmm. The fact that he's at that age and is still willing to do projects like this is really exciting. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I think it's going to wrap up Hopefully really well, like knowing it's his last time as Indiana Jones, but you know, going out with a bang and just knowing that he's able to do it at this age after that many years, like you were saying, many people are going to be pumped for it. And even watching the trailer, you have the classic soundtrack, which is just yeah. so memorable. And I think it's going to be great. And uh, we got some good projects coming out for yes. all the fans out there, mm -hmm. Indiana Jones and Marvel, yeah. which is great. But <laughs> <laughs> that's all the time we have for this week's entertainment panel. So once again, Thank you so much for joining us today, Abby. Of course, thank you.